energy drink. Girly energy drink. So based. The man Frost Lass is OP. Dude, I love Frost Lass. It's so good. It's got very obvious weaknesses against certain decks, but it's really fun. Is it melon milk? What what was it you had? What? Some cosmic stardust your drink. Yeah. I melon milk's disgusting. Is that an energy drink? White monster too good. Hell yeah, the boomer monster. I'm actually making fun of the white monster. It's so good. Oh, this is not a hand you want to take to uh, prom. It's missing that certain je ne sais quoi. The je ne sais quoi is a way to do damage in the next turn. Ah, it's not Kay's famous melon milk. First of all, excuse me? Secondly, huh? Oh, don't you remember? It, I'm sure it was last time we streamed. Kay was there drinking. Oh, milk. yeah, that vaguely rings a bell. And the smell made me want to die. Bing bong. Right, bearish. Ooh, just the lit and start. Man, I haven't even had a chance to write down the match yet. If it's any help, Bearish, I've got no way to KO you this turn. <laughs> so you're okay. I think we go with that kind of player. Man, what a shite hand. Also, that was awful. Like, what the hell was those options there? Oh, come on! Really? I, I guess we're not doing a whole lot. Pop the ABC. Hey, chat, do you call it an ancient booster energy capsule or do you call it ABEC? Or ABEC. I think the initials go hard. But FBEC sounds weird. For Beck. Uh, so plan AB versus. Incinizard. Why would you take away my joy? My poor ABEC. Absolutely out here ruining my life. I can't believe this would happen to me. Is that a bloody Rotom? Forest Seal? Mm -hmm. And we go for a Buddy Buddy Parfum? I think I could get back into the forest. Okay. Good. <laughs> Glad you could. Yo, complete two matches by conceding. What are you, a god based entity? Me? Yeah, you. Not conceding? It's crazy. Incineroar is so fun. Not amazingly good, but really good fun. Yeah, it's it's an interesting little deck. I don't hate it. <sighs> I do hate what's going on here, though. This this is awful. This is pee pee poo poo, quite frankly. Like we take this knockout, and suddenly there's a big ass Charizard breathing down our necks. Like arguably, I'd rather have. One of the explorer's guidance for this turn. We just didn't have it. This deck is very capable of just going ham and finding all the cards we need for a knockout on a Charmander or a Charizard, but I don't think we're going to see it this early in the game. And that's uh, it's kind of a problem. Kind of, a, kind of an issue. Here's where we hope there's six prize fire energy. Energy box of my pet deck. I'm waiting for the moment it's tier zero. I've been playing it since it came out. I don't think you'll ever see tier zero. But it's a good deck. Like, I really enjoy playing it. It's a lot of fun. It's big pain in the eight matchup is this one. Or specifically Charizard. There's ways around it. Like, we're fortunate that we got an early knockout. But the fact we put Abek down and it got lost zoned is really bad for us. Because that just it's just one less bit of damage. Like, <laughs> why are these draws so bad? I'm top decking nothing. Cool, okay, I guess I'll tickle the enemy then. Tickle, tickle! Give that two-piece knockout. Charizard is so hard. <laughs> it really is. I played uh, Ancient Box at a cup uh, not too long ago, and in the five rounds I played... I faced three Charizards playing Ancient Box. Won one, lost one, tied one. <laughs> it was so annoying. <laughs> so you take two prizes, they one shot everything. Not everything, but like, yeah, for the most part. 
it's just, it's a real not fun deck to play against. I'm I need to see a way to like get Super Rod going here. Like we can actually take a turn off the Sardo here, but like have we we haven't seen all four go away, have we? No. on. This sucks. This actually sucks. Um, how much damage are we doing? 160. We need to do two more. So we need a way to discard is what we're ultimately coming down to here. Come on, just mill away some Pokemon. Oh, it's still not good. 180. That's that's knockout at least. Okay, good to know. I guess we'll take our knockout. Like, there's not a lot else we can do. <laughs> what if you want to borrow it? Welcome to my luck from the last time we played. I, I'm making it work, fortunately, but like, it's not easy. Like right now, I'm so desperate to see a super rod. I'm once again asking for a super rod. It's hoping, like, the turns kind of stall out a little bit here. That's not the turn stalling out. So what's the logic on Incineroar? Each bench Pokemon, so it's costing three energy. So you need three energy plus the retreat on the Bidoof. Okay. Well... Less okay. Is Bar yeah, Barish has got everything. Okay. That's annoying. Okay. We can we can get around this a little bit. But it's not going to be easy. My ancient list is up to three rod because you need it so often. I th yeah, I'm not sure how many I'm running in this list. But we've not seen any yet, so. <laughs> There's none of the prizes, as we know, which is good. But, my god. So, 4NG in play... One discard. I'm not sure how much NG Bearish runs. We've seen one rare candy, two rare candy. Okay. Like, our prize map is on board. We actually don't need to worry too much. But we could do with seeing um, a counter catcher ASAP. Super Rod and counter catcher will go incredibly hard. I just don't want to be uh, in a situation where we're attacking with Hex Hurl. <laughs> Although, depending on how this turn goes, it's it's a viable option. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> Is your Pokemon active now burnt as well? Wow. Okay. Right, so it's Super Rod or Bust at this stage. Hey! <laughs> We do be out here pogging. Okay, give me a nest ball. Yeah, so instead of all, actually does 260, not 240. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh. Get rid of these. These nuts, how I got them. Right, so counter catcher would really tie the room together at this stage. That's not counter catcher. Can't help but notice that's not counter catcher. Now that's what I call not counter catcher. The energy going is kind of annoying actually. We could have done with it. The problem I've got now is I don't know how much energy we actually have available to us. Ah, plenty, never mind. <laughs> Imagine counting. Counting goes crazy. Wait, did we pull all three out? We did. Okay, hang on. Hold up, wait a minute. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we're doing two ten right now. Is there a world where we just leave Flottermane in the active? There is, right? We could just leave Flottermane in the active. 
but then we're at risk of being bossed. Although I just did that without even thinking, so I guess that's our strategy now. Yeah, all right, I guess we'll do that. Force the energy commitment. We've got turns to play with. We haven't got the counter catches yet. We've got three Roaring Moon ready to go. So we have to see some gusting for anything to happen to us now. We've seen two boss so far. So if there's three, we're a little bit screwed. We also don't know what the... I think it's... I think it's Cape in this deck that's run. Rather than Prime Catcher. Time to hibernate for the summer. Hi, hi, no, come back. <laughs> don't leave, learn about Pokemon. The other consideration is... So there's, there's a couple of ways to get out of this. I'm hoping none of them happen. Like evolving up to a Charizard and then full committing energy to Incineroar might be the game. I've seen a switch instead. Okay. So that helps enable our prize map. Perfect. Cool. Okay. So, um... Sardu. Didn't check my energy there. That was stupid. That was really dumb. Where are we on oh, trainers? Okay, so we definitely want to pop out them back in. Then we can retreat to Roaring Moon. That's a very intimidating board state. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll stay. <laughs> How else will you learn about the Pokemon training card game if you leave? So we're doing 220 there, so we need to get rid of 10 more cards for a knockout on Incineroar. That's a tall order. It's doable, but it's not the best. Of course, I was about to say, of course we do fear the Iron. Come on, baby, don't fear the Iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, well at least we can retrieve three, I guess. We've basically got two turns to activate a counter catcher here. Or find a way to one shot an Incineroar or a Charizard. I'm not liking my odds. <laughs> Let's see what the top deck brings us. The problem with the top deck right now is if we end up having to poke a stop, we might throw away what we just put back in. I think we do this. Grab all three, because we're not going to need to use Sada. Like, Sada's not the win con here. There's a couple of cards that are. But it's not Sardo. That doesn't win us the game. <sighs> um, yeah, we just we just got rid of like what we needed. That sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> It's the problem with Pokestop, like, palpading stuff back in, it, hoping to draw into it later, while Pokestop is, like, an option. So dangerous. We had the Poke Gear left, which is what I was kind of hoping we'd get into. We didn't, so here's what it is. The plus side... I think we're okay, actually. We'll find out. We're not getting Iron Node. Can't get unfair stamped. There's the cape. Oh. Energy on the Radzard. Makes sense. And that'll be game.
I mean, I'm actually annoyed the bosses all this play didn't work, but we're okay. We're good. We're fine. I'm super thanks for asking. Bring back that incineroar. I'm not finished with you! <laughs> GG Barish, GG. Yeah, once we were over the Rotom threshold, I was like, hell yeah, we're good. I was waiting for the Clap Stadium to come down. Unfortunately, it didn't. But Bearish, I'm glad we actually got a proper game for once. Because, uh, whew, 